stretch clinic that takes yoga to the people. I'm delighted to present the 101st episode of Yoga Express. My name is Banu Suresh, and this is our wonderful guest today, Josian Hurd. Josian has been with us in at least 30 to 40 episodes immediately before today. So it's wonderful to have you back, Josian. Would you tell our viewers a little bit about yourself and what you do before I go into my little commercial? Yeah, what I've done basically, it's a um, I started with yoga a long time ago, right. and I went back to martial art. Um, I did belly dancing, back to martial art, did my sailing for 20 years, right. and everything was mixed with yoga and yoga and yoga and yoga. So yoga is my link to everything I did. So is it safe to say you're a yoga addict now? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, and welcome to the show again, Josiane. It's always a pleasure to have you here. Josiane believes that her common denominator in whatever she does is yoga. And I am delighted to say I agree with her. That is what keeps me going as well. It gives me all this energy and everyone says, where do you get all this energy from? So do you take a sedative when you go home? I said, no, I don't. I sleep very well. One of these days, we are going to take you, our viewers, through a sequence, a five-minute sequence called Yoga Nidra. It's yogic sleep which actually will help you sleep. Uh, it would help you get into a very restful mode, which helps you sleep later. After that, during the yogic sleep, during yoga nidra, your body is still, but your mind is very alert. So you're not really going to sleep. Now, what I want you to understand is it's not important to sleep for seven, eight hours. What's important is to have a restful sleep, even for three hours, maybe three, four and a half hours. We talk about REM cycle, <clears throat> makes you want to sleep in cycles of 90 minutes. Now, we won't go into the REM cycle because this is about Yoga Express, not about the REM. Before we proceed, I would like to thank our wonderful, wonderful crew. We have <clears throat> Eric and Manny right here on the camera. Ginger will be taking over tomorrow in the next episode tomorrow on camera work, and then we have Brittany, Rosette, Meriden, Jamie, and Vanessa in our control room, and our wonderful facilitators, Rich and Kristen. Thank you so much. You folks outnumber us today, so it's giving us a lot of uh, confidence to just keep going on. Josian, before we started today, actually before I do that, our program, Yoga Express, airs Monday through Friday, 1.30 p.m. on Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Fios 35. We have, and before Josiane and I go into our program today, we have to do a little housekeeping for ourselves. For those of you who have been practicing with us for since March this year, we've been airing since March. We became a da daily in season two. We have an ailment-specific sequence of 48 very simple stretches. I'm not sure which camera is going to pick it up. Very simple ailment-specific stretches, which literally should take you less than 20 minutes once you know what comes next, which stretch comes next. And these stretches are not only ailment-specific, they're so very basic that you really, you really don't even think about it. Now, we'll send you a postcard to practice at home on days when you don't have time or you don't have the energy to go to a yoga class, stay in touch with your body. We'll also send you a free fridge magnet, which has the sequence, 48 plus sequence on the magnet. Did I give you one of these? I think it was. If I didn't, this is yours after the show. <laughs> and we have a business card on the front with my information. That's not important. But on the back, we have the sequence again. Stick this in your wallet. Stick this on your fridge, the fridge magnet on your fridge, 
and put this postcard in your handbag. Just don't give us or yourselves any excuses not to stretch. We have a lot of support for all of you. We have a website and a blog, www.yogaexpress.com or yogaexpress.blogspot.com. I had to plug that in in case we forget at the end of it. And we also have a book. I'm happy to say it won this book's award finalist. Finalist, but you know what? It's getting noticed. It's called Yoga Secrets. Yoga Secrets has 10 ailment-specific cards inside, so 10 sequences of which at Jazian's request either today or tomorrow, between the two days, we're going to do the sciatica sequence. Was there a special reason why you wanted to do the sciatica? Because I have a problem with my sciatica. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hope you feel good after we are done. Okay, Josiane, it's your choice. Between today and tomorrow, which one would you like to do first? Do you want to do today. the sci sciatica today? <laughs> done. Let's go. Okay, Josiane and I are going to go. We have our little cheat sheets here. We have this postcard in front of us, and I'm going to keep mine. I'm going to try and look a little neater. Okay, we're gonna stand up and, yes, we're, oh, we're there, we can see ourselves. Folks who practice uh, yoga also have a little bit of vanity left in us. We like to see ourselves on the monitor. No, it's also to know that we are aligning our body correctly, that we have the postures, you know, we stretch our arms right, that people understand how to do it. Josiane, well, let's, let's tell ourselves. Why don't you come forward, I'll go back, and what I'm gonna do is go through the sequence starting with all the stretch, the postures that stretch your hamstrings in the back of your thighs. So I was gonna do the muscle groups first so people know where their muscle groups are, but you know what, let's do the sciatica sequence. The sciatic nerves actually originate from the base of your spine and they come, your spine is somewhere, when it comes to this point at the lower lumbar region, the spine actually divides into two nerves. Those are the sciatic nerves, which go right across from the outside of your thighs and goes all the way down your legs. Now, your hamstrings are muscles in the back of your thighs. So when you stretch the back of your thighs, when we get into postures which stretch the back of the thighs, you're actually giving the sciatic nerves uh, an opportunity to stretch as well. So when your muscles and nerves are all nicely stretched, you feel wonderful relief. So in fact, Josine, didn't you say in one of the previous episodes, you participate, you had a sciatic yes. problem, you participated and you felt better? Absolutely. And did it come it's back? A, it's a really, oh, well, it's, it was a lapse of time it, uh, because right. the weather may be affecting as well. Yes, and that's Possibly. another thing. I'm glad you mentioned the weather because here in the studios, it's quite cold because we have expensive equipment, but also at home, every time you stretch, especially when you're doing sciatica stretches, you're doing intense forward folds. That's when you stretch the back of your legs. You want to be very careful that you first warmed up. Josian had has a good example where you did yes. not warm up. You tried to do the cross-legged. The post. air conditioning was on for blast, and I would put, always cross my legs when I'm in front of a computer. Right. And that's it. I and it. what happened? Did you get stuck? Yes, I got stuck. <laughs> I got my mini curve. You <laughs> hurt <shape>. yourself. <laughs> so Josian still has a tender knee, so she's going to be very careful. But she's okay with forward stretches. Oh, yes, I think this absolutely. was one of the reasons why you chose it. Okay. Heels together, toes slightly apart. We're going to go into a posture called Pada Hasta. Pada is foot, Hasta is hand. Literally, it means hands to feet. Now, I know it's very easy. You can just go down all the way. Or, and you could break your back, or you could hurt your back. <laughs> or you could do it the way we do it in yoga, very graceful, slow, controlled motion. And we're going to go down, flex and you know, you want to make sure that the spinal flexions and inversions are very, very gentle. So you're going to flex your spine so that you go down very gracefully. Let's try that. Palms by the side of our legs. <coughs> Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height. Palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead. Palms facing in. Clasp your palms together. What we're going to do now, Josiane and I, maybe I'll just turn just a little bit to one side. We're going to exhale and fold. From the hip, keep your back nice and straight. Beautiful, Josiane. Josiane is looking up, which is wonderful. It also helps her inhale more air. Now, that means she can hold, she can actually have a wonderful deeper exhale. So exhale and fold. Keep your back straight. Now remember, it's not important for the purposes of today's sequence, it's not important to touch the floor with your fingertips or with your whole palm as Josiane has it. I have a little Mansfield here, so I'm not going to go all the way down. 
If I want to put my palms on the floor, I have to bend my knees. I would much rather keep my knees straight and just have my fingertips touching the floor. What I want to do today is to feel my hamstrings. I want to feel the stretch. Josiane, do you feel that? Yes. Wonderful. So we want to feel our hamstrings stretch nice and beautiful. Let's hold it. Now, inhale, bring your palms together. Inhale, keep your back nice and straight. Keep inhaling, fill your lungs with air. Exhale and release. A lot of yoga is based on gravity and it's a lot of common sense. So if you have a sciatica issue, you want to make sure you stretch your hamstrings, you stretch the sciatic nerves before you're overcome by any sciatic mm. problems. If, you have const if you're constipated, you want to make sure you massage your lower abdominal region. Just to give yourself the opportunity to feel wonderful, to just refresh all your glands and organs in the body. And that's what we're doing, it's very targeted. You have an asthma issue, you want to improve, enhance your lung power, so you do chest openers. So we go, we go into our stretches in a very common sense way. We, we approach it as very intelligently in a very common sense way. Josiane, let's turn this way. Let's turn this side. The cameras will pick us up. Keep your legs about three feet apart. Okay, I must keep asking you. You're okay with this, with your knee, right? Yes. And it's your right knee, okay. Now, <coughs> we have our feet, our legs are about three feet apart. You want to put the brakes on in the left foot. Bring your left foot in. When I say brakes on, bring your toes in. So bring your left foot in, turn your right foot out. And I'm going to make sure that the heel of my right foot is in the center of the sole of my left foot. Now, make sure your upper body faces forward. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Hold your palms right there. We're going to go into a posture called trikon asan. Trikon, three is three, cone is triangle. This is literally triangle posture. What Josiane and I are going to do is we are going to take a nice deep breath. We're going to exhale and dip our torso to the right. Right arm will come down. Right palm comes in front of the right ankle, palm facing forward. Left arm goes all the way up, palm facing forward. Inhale. Look to the right, Josiane. Exhale and dip. Keep your body nice and straight. Now, you should feel a delicious stretch in the back of your hamstrings, also your adductor muscles on the inside of your upper right thigh. You will also feel a bit of a stretch in your abductor muscles on the outside of your upper left thigh. You should feel yourself stretching nicely, and we're going to stretch both sides. Inhale, come up. Exhale and release. Keep your legs where they are. Put your brakes on in the right foot. Actually, let's turn this side. No, will they see us? Yes, let's turn this side. Let the other camera pick us up so that we can still face the camera. Now, you're going to put your brakes on in the right foot, in the right, uh, yes. Bring your toes in. Right foot comes in. Left foot goes out. And your torso is to the front. Inhale. <coughs> Bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Hold your hands right there. Make sure you're nice and, your arms are nice and straight. Your body is upright, chest is out. Fill your lungs with air. Exhale and dip your torso to the left. Left palm comes in front of the left foot. Right arm goes up. Look up at your right hand. Now, it depends on how much neck movement you have. You should be able to see your middle finger in the right hand, which essentially, I think, is the longest finger for most of us. Inhale, let's come up. Exhale, and release. Josiane, stay where you are. What we're going to do is we're going to put our brakes back on. This time, we're going to transition into two, actually, no, only one more posture. We're going to workshop these stretches one at a time because we want to make the maximum use of these stretches to be, of uh, these postures to stretch our hamstrings. So let's stay where we are. This time, bring your Toes out, we'll stay this side. Bring your toes out on the right foot. Brakes are on on the left foot. Inhale. Arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. This time, we're going to exhale and bend the right leg at the knee. Exhale, look to the right. Now, just so we can get the most out of this posture, we're going to keep going. 
and transition into the next posture. This is called Veera Bhadra. Veera is brave, Bhadra is soldier or warrior. Veera Bhadra is simply brave warrior. Exhale, dip your right hand in front of your right ankle. Left arm goes up. Once you're up here and your shoulders are nice and back, I'm sure many of us, once we keep stretching, we'll have wonderful shoulder movement in the uh, rotator cuffs. Let's take our arm, keep exhaling, take your arm all the way overhead, palms face down, and hold. <clears throat> keep breathing, remember when we say hold, we mean hold your posture, not your breath. Inhale, bring both your arms up to shoulder height. Straighten your right leg at the knee, put the brakes on in the right leg, bring your left foot out so your toes and the right leg are in, the right foot is in. We're going to exhale and bend our left knee. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale and bend. Keep exhaling, let's go down all the way. Now. Let's keep going. Make sure your shoulders are nice and back so you can take your arm all the way overhead. Keep exhaling. Again, this time you should feel a delicious stretch in your abductor muscles, the outside of your upper right thigh. And you should also feel a bit of a stretch on the inside of your left thigh. Do you feel much on your left leg, Josiane? No, no, I feel comfortable. You feel very comfortable. <laughs> That's because you're doing it well. You enjoy it. Inhale, let's come up. Straighten your left leg. Put the brakes on in the left leg and let's wiggle our legs together. Exhale and relax. I want to point out to our viewers, when I asked Josiane just now, do you feel the stretch in your right leg? She said, I feel very comfortable. I want viewers at home to understand if you're very comfortable, it feels delicious and you feel a stretch. You're not in pain. A little bit of pain is okay. No pain, no gain and kind of stuff, but you should not you should not feel an intense pain. You shouldn't feel any pops and crackles that'll make you think, am I tearing a muscle? You don't want to feel that kind of pain. You want to feel a delicious kind of pain, a pain that actually makes you feel good. That means you're releasing all those feel-good juices called endorphins. So if Josiane is very comfortable, and if she's feeling good, it's probably good for her. So as long as you're feeling good, that's fine. OK, we have another forward fold, a very intense forward fold which is a whole body fold with our legs out. Mm -hmm. So this time what we're gonna, let's turn this way. <coughs> we're gonna give our viewers a different perspective each time. So our cameras pick us up anyway. We have wonderful camera folks, we have a wonderful crew, so they will pick us up. Legs are apart about three to four feet. And this time, especially in this posture, make sure you put your brakes on. Bring the toes in on both the legs. So you want to make sure you don't slip. While we're in this posture, I might as well point out to you, Josiane has socks on. But the magic of these socks is they have rubber dots. Josiane, oh, I don't want you to get out. When you come out of this posture, show them. <laughs> she has rubber dots, so she still has a wonderful grip uh, on the mat. Now, folks at home, if you're very cold and you want to use socks when you're stretching, please make sure that you have something that gives you a hold on the floor. You don't want to slip, you want to be safe. It doesn't matter if you don't get into pretzel positions. Be safe. Okay, put your brakes on. Palms are by your side. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height. Palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead. Palms facing in. I'm gonna stagger myself just a little bit to the left so I don't hit Josie in. <coughs> what we're gonna do is we are going to exhale and fold from the hip, keeping our back nice and straight. And I'm gonna do a loud exhale so you understand that we are actually exhaling. This is called Ujjayi breathing. <sighs> Keep going, keep exhaling. With every sip of air that you drive out of your lungs, you're gonna be able to go deeper and deeper. Once your palms are nice and secure on the mat between your legs, keep your elbows nice and close. Once you're nice and safe, you can start wiggling your feet out just a little more. I'm gonna move my little cheat sheet away from me. Okay, now when you're in this position, you should feel a beautiful, beautiful hamstring stretch. Josiane, this one is for you, I hope you're happy. You wanted a wonderful <laughs> sciatic sequence. I want to show our viewers also how to use these blocks. 
Today, I'm feeling a little strong, so I might go all the way down. My, the crown of my head hopefully will touch the floor, but there are days when we don't feel so strong. So, you okay, let, let's first go and keep, keep exhaling, and let's see if we can go down all the way without the block. Now, I'm gonna inhale, come up just a little bit. I'm gonna just wiggle my feet just one inch so I can leave my hands, let my hands go, I'm gonna place the brick. Some days you don't feel so strong, so you're not ready to connect the top of your head to the floor. Place the brick in front of you, keep exhaling, and let's go down. <sighs> Josiane hates props more than I do. <laughs> She's very comfortable. <laughs> now, <laughs> if you think this is a little hard for you and you're not feeling very strong, bring your legs a little bit closer and then turn it to mid-height. Keep exhaling and go down. <sighs> And if you really, really are not feeling all that strong and you think, nah, I'm not ready to go that deep, bring it up to the third orientation. So it's nice and high, and you'll still feel a wonderful hamstring stretch, but this time it's going to be, it's still going to be intense for you, but you're going to make the connection. That's important. <sighs> important thing is you either touch the floor with the crown of your head or the lower, mid, or higher level. Now, I'm gonna throw this block away from me, place my palms in the center. I'm gonna bring my feet a little closer, wiggle them just a little closer till it's safe to take my hands off of the floor. Inhale, bring your arms up, clasp your palms together, keep inhaling, keep your back nice and straight. Very slow, controlled motion, exhale. And release. How do you feel, Josiane? Great. Let's start wiggling our legs together. You asked for it. You wanted the sciatica sequence. Yeah, Let's wiggle this. our legs together. I love this one. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. Now, I, we've done, I think, one, two, three, four, five. That's beautiful. You know what? I want to do a few targeted uh, stretches for sciatica. I was picking from this. So that's beautiful. We've done this. We have another posture. Oh, by the way, the posture that we just went to, it has different names depending on the school that you come from. Some schools call it Prasarita Padottanasan. The school I come from keeps everything very simple. We call it ugras, and ugra means fierce. So I don't know what is it about this posture that makes you think it's fierce. Maybe it's an animal posture. Most of the yoga postures are named after animals. But the important thing is it gives you a wonderful stretch in the hamstrings. The next posture is called Ardha Chandra. Ardha Chandra, Ardha is half. Chandra is moon. It's a half moon or crescent moon. Mm -hmm. Let's stagger ourselves. Heels together, toes slightly apart, palms by your side. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing in. Now this time, for this particular posture, it's okay if your elbows are bent just a little bit, but you will get more out of your posture if you straighten your elbows just a little and bring them back, bring your shoulders back. And look up as Josiane's doing. Take a nice deep breath in. We're gonna exhale and dip our torso to the right and then to the left. So it's a lovely wave motion. Inhale, exhale and dip to the right. It doesn't matter how deep you go on any given day. What's important is you go the deepest you can on that given day. So don't compare yourself with anybody else. I know Josiane is going really deep and I know she can go even deeper but this is as far as I can go today, and I'm happy about it. The point is, I feel this wonderful stretch in my obliques on the left side of my waist. Inhale, let's come to the middle. Exhale, to the left. And this time, while I feel this beautiful, delicious stretch on the right side of my obliques, I also feel a wonderful compression of all my glands and organs on the left side. So let's hold it. Inhale, come back to the center. And release, don't bring your arms all the way down, bring it in front of your chest, palms facing down. We're gonna go into another posture called Kati Chakra. Kati Chakra, we have about four minutes left, so I think we can take in another four postures. Kati Chakra is literally, chakra is wheel. Kati is like halfway or cut off, halfway there. So it's like a half wheel. Get your feet about 12, eight, 10 to 12 inches apart. We're not gonna measure, just gonna eyeball it. So palms are facing down, elbows are nice and up. Got three minutes, perfect. Elbows are nice and up, 
Keeping elbows up makes you feel nice and alert. So you're alert, you're ready to swing out. So we're gonna take a deep breath and swing the right arm out and then the left arm in turns. We'll do it twice. Once, keeping our hips in place and the other time, we'll take our hips with us. Take a nice deep inhale. Remember, keep your heels, your toes, your feet exactly as they are. Make your toes feet parallel to each other. That's good, okay. Inhale, exhale to the right. Inhale, let's come to the center. Exhale to the left. Now, inhale, let's come forward. This time, Josiane may not have felt the hamstring stretch as much. She hasn't felt the sciatic stretching. This time, we're gonna take our hips with us and tell me, Josiane, if you feel your sciatic nerve stretching. Your hamstrings should stretch a lot more. Exhale to the right, take your hips with you. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, back to the center. Did you feel any of that? Oh yes. Yeah. Remember, another thing is, the closer we keep our feet, the more intense, for this particular posture, the more intense is your stretch because your hips are moving and your legs will stretch, your hamstrings and the abductor muscles are stretching a lot more to go all the way around. But when we keep our feet really close, the temptation is to move our big toe off of the floor. You don't want that. So that's why we keep our feet apart just a little bit. Okay, you don't want balances, so I'm going to, I'm going to skip the balance. I'm not going to work you, you on try. that. <laughs> no, let's not do that. We have about a minute to go. Let's do one posture, two more. It's called Uttanasana, or standing forward fold. Some schools call it ragdoll, which is fine with us. I don't care what we call it as long as we get our stretch. And then we have Parvata mountain. We'll go one into the other, roll right in. Heels together, toes slightly apart. Inhale, bring your palms up to shoulder height, arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing in. Now this time, or instead, actually instead of your palms clasping, this time we're gonna clasp the opposite elbows. My mistake, but easily corrected. Bring your shoulders nice and back, exhale, fold from the hip, keep your back nice and straight. And place your palms on the floor. Now to place my whole palm on the floor, I'm gonna have to bend just a little bit. Very gently take your left foot back and your right foot back. This is the queen of all sciatic stretches, Josiane, so enjoy. Make sure your heels are on the floor. You don't want to miss that connection. Make sure your heels are nice and flat. Let's walk our feet towards our hands. 